Yo, Vaisant here. So in this video, I want to just quickly go over when you unlock these modes that you should unlock as soon as possible so you can like do them daily or weekly. Uh, but let's just jump into it. First thing you want to unlock is the memory retrieval. And that unlocked after beating the Fool's Journey, chapter 1-17. So beat that one. Uh, so we can go here. Chapter 1. Right, you get all the way to 17, you beat the last boss. You unlock memory retrieval, and you find that in Crossing Worlds, right? It's right here. And you only technically do these once a day, except for the first time you clear. It doesn't take up an attempt, so up here you get one over one, right? If you, like, let's say I unlock level 30, and then I do it the first time, it doesn't take an attempt. So it's only the extra attempt that... Uh, you do and you do want to use it. Okay, because these shards are technically like dupes. So you can actually uh, Increase the star rarity of your characters and you can farm it this way uh, I believe it takes like about 100 days to maximize one character and You only get maximum of three shards per character so you can map out however you want Like you can bring two minimum here and you get like two and three because this one gives you five. You map it out. I don't know what how much you get 30. So when you unlock it, you just figure it out here. This one gives you four. All right. You can just you want to bring at least minimum two characters for these rounds. Next one is the PvP mode. And you unlock that at chapter 2-5. So you get to chapter 2. You beat this 5. You unlock PvP mode. And PvP mode is found right here. Right, the clash button on the bottom right. You click that. And you want to make sure you use your attempts. You get five a day. And uh, just doing... I would just find someone that's like lower level than you and just clear it. Right? If you can do the hard mode, like this one, level 12. I'm like 24. I could totally beat that. You can go in and just auto it if you want. Or play it if you want to actually fight someone uh, stronger than you. <laughs> but yeah, you get these nice rewards. Like legendary trinkets and weapons and all these goodies. So you complete these quests just by doing them, like doing the PvP. All right, and now the the last one I want to talk about is the guild. You unlock guild after beating chapter two thirteen. After you beat this, I mean, was two eleven? No, two thirteen, I believe. I thought it was two fifteen, but it's two thirteen. What someone told me in my chat. Um, you unlock guild and you find guilds. Uh, you actually go to the menu and it actually shows up here. It doesn't like give you a notification or anything. But yeah, you unlock guilds. You go here. There are weekly bonuses for people doing activities. So you actually get this by doing activities. So if you go and read this. Act, complete daily quests and co collect activity points. And that will count towards this guild weekly as well. So I just want to quickly go over um, this. If you have any other questions, like when things unlock, I'll try to find things out for you. Uh, I guess a quick note for this, right? Uh, I just want a good quick tip here. Uh, do your develop, it will automatically complete the resource. It doesn't complete the, the impact, does not complete the develop, unfortunately. But doing this will complete that. So it's contrary on develop and impact only, and then you're gonna lock these. And you get channel quests, right? All right, I do want to mention also, you probably want to unlock the Tower of Conquest as fast as possible, I believe around chapter 211 or so and from here you unlock this you get a bunch of rewards just from clearing like the floors and then these also allow you to redeem and i believe they reset weekly i'm not exactly sure but it resets pretty soon so far right now two two days and seven hours so make sure you get this as soon as possible and also as clear as high as you can go uh, if you have any more questions or whatever, uh, feel free to drop by my stream, twitch.tv slash Misante. I'd be doing rerolls on the side while playing this game. Is this fun? You know, reroll for chat. So if you're actually still looking for an account, swing by. And with that, later days.